Hey guys, Weep here. Welcome back to another video by Variety MMOs. In today's video, we're going to be talking about everything related to Node Manager. So the Node Manager is basically a mini game that you play that is located here in your interface, which is inside your mana. It gives you really good rewards, including slabs, boss rush scrolls, stones, and everything else that you need to upgrade your character and enhance your playing experience. Before we go into the node manager, let me show you how to enter the node manager and give you a warning concerning the villages. So if you open up your menu and go to node and then go to start from anywhere on the world map except a very few exclusive locations like the world boss, or if you go into your mana and go to node then hit start you'll be entered into your node. Now as for the warning, what a lot of people did when they first got into that mana is they got a level 2 or 3 town hall and then they immediately went into the node and put as many villages in as they could. This is not the most efficient way to go about this. What you should be doing is putting in an absolute maximum, I would say two to three. I personally put zero in and go to gather, go to ward gathering and send all of your villages away for logging. The reason you want to do this is because basically everything in the base costs logs and you use your logs to get a town five hall which will allow you to get more lodging, which will get you more villages. When you have 25 villages, you can then can put them in the node and start using them and keep sending away your other villages that are not in the node to get other resources so you can keep crafting. So main point, please do not put all of your villages in here early on because it is a mistake that will set you back enormously. Okay, so something that the trading post can do aside from the node management would be trade resources. So if you go into here, you can click on one particular resource and then you can trade it to another resource. Let's trade it over. There is a limitation in the way that you can only trade, for example, stone for stone or wood for wood. And the trade honestly is not very good. So I would only make this trade if you're a little bit short on resources to upgrade your base or if you need a little bit to send away your villagers and no manager. Otherwise, I would leave the trading post alone because generally it's a waste of resources. Okay, let's talk about the interface and what you're going to be doing in Node Manager. So if you open up your Node Manager, before you go in here, you're going to see this interface here, which we will look at once we get in the Node Manager. But what we want to look at first is up here, your level. So if you click on the magnifying glass, you'll see here the Node Manager level effects. So basically over here is your Node level. You level up your Node by basically doing anything in there, collecting resources, sending away villages. Anything you do will give you a bit of XP. The node limit is how many nodes you can control. The worker limit is how many workers you're allowed to have working at the same time. And the reward is the chance to double your rewards. So a lot of people think that, for example, plus 12% equals your reward and then plus 12% of the reward. That's actually not how it works. There's a 12% chance that it'll double whatever resource you collect. And I've gotten quite a few on 10%, which is really, really nice. Okay, so now that we're in the node, you're going to see quite a few different interfaces, which may be a little bit confusing. So first up is local fame. Local fame basically equals more silver, and you get it by claiming silver and by having villages on your nodes. So how we do this is you go to a node that you do not currently control. Please note, for example, to control this node down here, you have to have nodes that are connected. So for example, this node and this node must be controlled before you can get this node. Okay, so let's go to a node that we do not control. So this is the silver production, and this is the amount of silver it can hold before it is full. You'll note down here the amount of resources it costs to control the node. We're going to select here and go auto select. So up here, you'll see extra gain rate, 30%. So this is the resources it's going to cost and the silver you'll get. But this is the extra rate that you're going to get. And you'll note this is a level 30 blue. If I go to a level 20 green, it's only plus 21%. So the tier and the stats and levels of your villages actually does have a significant effect on the things inside the node manager. So let's send away the blue guy. So now it's going to send the villager to the node. Okay, so now that the node is controlled, he is sitting on top of there, we're allowed to send villagers to select the other resources. 
So let's select them to go and get myself some boss rush tokens. So let's go to auto select so it'll pick the best tokens. So there is a 6.5% chance that it's going to give me double boss stamps. At 6.5% plus the percent you have for whatever your level is. For example, when we looked at earlier, I believe I have plus 12% chance of getting double items. So it would be plus 12%, plus 6%, for a total of 18% chance to get double items when pulling them out. So we're going to have a look down here. It's going to consume these resources. It's going to consume this food. And it's going to take two workers. So let's send both workers away. So now that node is being controlled and you're currently sending to obtain your boss rush tokens. Don't worry if you're not controlling five nodes. You only need to control the nodes that you really want to collect items. Your fame will not go down if you're controlling, say, four nodes instead of five nodes. Okay, so I logged on an old account to look at an earlier version of the node to help you guys make the connection to your own accounts. So here you'll see that I haven't actually done anything. So my local fame is on zero and I'm having a lot of errors coming up. So first off, let's have a look at the random events. So if you go down into overview, you'll see accidents, accidents on the road, and fortunes of the road. So accidents and accidents are on the road are basically, you just click on them, and you just basically complete whatever it tells you to do here. Bang, 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 bang. Easy as can be. You get a bit of resources. The problem with those though, is that when there's errors on the road, your resources, see how they're red? That means they're no longer collecting because there's an error. So you gotta make sure that you come in and fix them when you see them. They will appear here in your bell when it happens. So let's get rid of the other issue. Okay, so you'll notice here that we also have your run out of resources and max capacity. So let's go through them and collect them. When we're collecting these, that is perfect. So, when you are collecting your node resources, there is a chance that a special event will appear, which is the other random event. Usually this will have sacks of good black stones, fair black stones, it can have tablets, it can have boss rush uh, tokens, it can have really good rewards in here, and I would always recommend that you go and get these as soon as possible. As I mentioned earlier, you do need to have the nodes connected all the way up there to go and get it. And something else to be aware of is sometimes this will appear all the way up here. And it can be a pain to use all five nodes to go up there and get it. But I would still recommend going to do it because the resources are really good. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly grab the rest of the rewards. So once it's depleted, take your worker off. Take your workers off. Okay, grab the rewards. Now we should have enough workers now. So now we're going to go to the camp outskirts, explore, and send your best villager. Remember to send your best villager because you want a higher chance of doubling the rewards. So send the worker, and it's now going to get that. So that covers the three random ones. The only other random one that you're looking at is if you open up the camera here, and you have a look around, you'll see Fortune of the Road, which is click here to get rewards. These, these quests up here will generally just auto-complete. So you don't need to overly worry about them. Okay. So now we get out of that interface. And we go back into overview. So now we understand the nodes. The work's on, on site. Working. Completed nodes. Depleted nodes. Which is when you run out of resources. The accidents and the fortunes on the road. So now you have a basic understanding of how node works. So when you've collected all of your resources. Which I have yet to do. What you're going to want to do. Is you're going to want to make sure that all of your villagers are sent back out because if you don't do that they'll just sit here like waiting on here so you just quickly go to a node that you control sometimes these can cost two villages and the cost can be quite high so it is a good idea to have a look at that so once you've sent out all your villages you're going to want to hit this icon up here and exit the node manager and it's going to show you the node manager results there we go i just leveled up so now i have a seven percent chance of getting double rewards the rewards here are not very good because this account is pretty early on a node manager. But as you get later on, on my main account, I'm getting like 20, 30 boss scrolls. I'm getting 20, 30 slabs. I'm getting a lot of silver. So it's definitely a good idea to do node manager. But please do remember not to do node manager until you have a level 5 base and 25 villages. 
if you do not have enough contribution which you are required to get your villagers get a couple of alts and run them through the quest line to get a couple of contribution levels to help you out if you are wondering about contribution it is located up here and i will put the contribution guide i've created below the video have a look at that if you don't understand contribution okay that covers everything in today's video if you did like the episode please do consider hitting that subscribe button above uh if you have any questions about this video or any of my other content feel free to contact me over on twitch where i do live stream or join our community discord both links are available below the video thanks for watching guys peace